Hey fellow YouTube creators, this is Joyce from This and That Creations, where I inspire you to be original in all you do and just be you. Today I'm joining Thrift Flip Thursday, $10 and below, with Shayna Robinson Repurposing and Savvy Crafts with Savannah. Please make sure to check out their channel. And while you're at it, please check out that playlist link down below for all those amazing DIYers. And if you enjoy Trash to Treasure, Thrift Flips, Upcycling for Your Home, please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit me up on my socials. Now let's get crafty. All right, guys, let's jump into our first DIY. I got this cute vintage mailbox holder at the thrift store for a dollar. Yes, a dollar. We're gonna use our Dixie Belle Caviar, which is black. Our Dixie Belle Fluff that is white. We're gonna use these stamps that I got off of Amazon, which I'm absolutely loving. We also got a permanent ink that I got off of Amazon. I will leave those links down below. And then we're gonna go ahead and use some ribbon. I got these at the Dollar Tree and Walmart and you can choose any ribbon you like. And of course, we're gonna clean this baby up because we know where it's been, the thrift store. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this full coverage with this black. I end up doing two coats, but I'm not gonna bore you with you watching me paint two coats and letting it dry. And of course, to help the process out, we're gonna use our handy dandy. It's coming up here, heat tool. I'll leave that link down below as well. I absolutely love it. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our Dixie Belle white fluff. And once again, we are gonna do two coats, full coverage. I decided to go ahead and do some black along the edges just to give it some character and give it, like make it look vintage and aged. And then I put my placement and my stamps on and this girl's like, hmm, is that what I like? Let me think about this. Hmm. And yep, that's what I like. So we're gonna go ahead and use this first stamp. Now I'm just gonna press it on the ink pad. I may be doing it wrong, but this is how I'm doing it. If you have a better idea, please leave it down in the comments below. Now I have an air here, and you'll see it in just a moment. I decided to place my little stamp down but I didn't think the process through. And it's barely there. <laughs> I will fix that in a minute, you'll see. Now I do have this little um, stamp tool, I can't think of what it's called, that you place the stamp on. My mind went blank, I apologize. Now I'm gonna decide to use that. And here's where I decide I can fix my mistake. I press it down, and then I need to push pressure from the bottom, if that makes sense, and it goes on perfectly. Some lessons you just learn as you do them. I'm gonna go back and fix this bottom one. I didn't use a little stamp pad because I just knew that I needed to place it in a certain spot, and I need to be able to fill where I was doing it at. And I didn't show you a picture of doing the third one because I didn't want to bore you. It's the same process. Now we're just going to make a little um, refab bow that I got from Brooke off of refab. You just choose what colors you like and you crisscross, as you can see. Once you're happy with your placement, you're just going to grab a piece of twine and you're gonna just pinch it together and you're gonna give a good tie and a double knot in the back. Then I decided to use a little bit of that gingham ribbon I had and put it around the bow 
just so you couldn't see the twine. You could use a button or whatnot. I came up with this idea that I was going to get a magnet that I got and we're going to put it on the bow so you can take it and remove it off of the mailbox and you can put something different there. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Folk Art Clear Wax and I'm going to coat it all over my piece just so it gives it that protection it needs. I'm just loving this guys. I absolutely love it. I love these stamps. They've become, I've become obsessed with them. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take some of that burlap and some of that black and white gingham and we're just gonna place it on the bottom just to give it a little more character. I just thought I needed a little something something. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just want to jump in and if you're liking this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on my journey, please subscribe. This is how it turned out. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorites. I hope you give it a shot. I hope you try out those stamps. You can use any greenery you like. I absolutely love this. All right, guys, DIY number two. This turns out so cute. We're gonna take our celery Waverly chalk paint and we're gonna mix it up a little better than what I did because apparently I didn't mix it up very good. And we're just gonna go ahead and cover full coverage on this little bucket I got at the Goodwill for 99 cents. Guys, I just absolutely love the thrift store. That's where I get my inspiration. I'm a thrift store junkie. Whether it's to craft with or take a piece and upcycle it to fit my home. little pots at Habitat for Humanity and I'm just dry brushing it. I think I paid 99 cents for five of them. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take that Dixie Belle black again and go around the bottom and the top of this bucket just to give it an age look and a little bit of something something. Hey in the comments below let me know do you love going to the thrift store? So I have this little lace burlap I've had in my stash forever, and I'm just gonna make some bunny ears. I'm just gonna freehand them, and I'm doing it so it's, you know, I'm not, oh heavens, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm just gonna glue it together. I did double pieces so it wasn't so flimsy. And I got this little flower, a five pack, for a quarter at the thrift store on half off day. I'm just going to place those ears and glue them on. Now you kind of want to pinch them to give them kind of a shape. Okay, I got this bead off of a necklace that I got from the thrift store that I took apart. I'm just going to grab some twine. And grab some glue to put it around there. Wait till it cools off a little bit. I know this is basic, but in case someone new is watching, you're gonna twist it just to make it like a needle and put it right through that bead. Now I've done bunnies before where I use raffia for the whiskers. I decided to use twine and unbraid it, and we'll just cut off whatever we don't need.
Then I'm going to glue on that cute little nose onto this flower. It kind of looks like a cat maybe, but hey. You'll see here in a minute we're going to glue on a magnet so you can take it on and off. And you can use the pot for some, you know, different decor all year long. So this is totally optional, but it came to my head and I thought I'd go with it and do it, right? Then we're going to go ahead and take that wax again and just give it a coverage over our bucket. It's just to seal it and protect it. Now I have this ribbon I got from the $5 boxes off uh, Michaels when they do those clearance. I absolutely love. I'm just going to take it and tie it into a little shoelace bow. Super simple. But I didn't glue this on as well because I wanted you to be able to take it apart and change it around for your decor if you wanted to th throughout the year. And I got that candlestick for 50 cents at the thrift store and I didn't do anything with it. I love the black on it already. And I found this little like egg shape in my stash. I don't know where I got it. I've had it forever. So I just glued it on there to give it some character. How cute. Super simple, but cute. Now we're gonna just take some Gorilla Hot Glue and some E6000 for instant gratification and for long-term hold. Yep, I use my teeth to open it. Why not? <laughs> We're just gonna place that down. We wanna make sure to push down to get it to grip. And I'm taking that little piece. I have some styrofoam in it from, a, I got from the store actually. Shocker, right? But <laughs> I'm just gonna put that right in there. And I got this from a present during Christmas and I decided I liked how it looked and I'm keeping that. I'm gonna just place those eggs that I got last year all around. I'm not gonna glue them in because I wanna be able, like I said before, I'm repeating myself, but I wanna be able to change it around. Then I grabbed some different colored flowers from my stash and I'm sorry, I didn't record this very good, but you'll see it in the end. We're just gonna place those flowers in there well, that bunny, I think it's still stinking cute. It's a little different, but it's cute. I love how this turned out as well. And I love that you can use it all year round. Let me know in the comments below what one was your favorite. And thank you, have a good day.